Recently, the Make Earth Day Everyday Earth Festival was held at the Taunton Expo Center in Taunton, Massachusetts. The event, co-sponsored by Teens for Environmental and Rainforest Action, Earth Service Corps, and the Taunton Ecology Awareness Movement, featured exhibitors from the area as well as local musicians. We asked Laura Brown, co-president of Terra, how this event came together. Okay, well last year um, we had we held a, an Earth Day concert and um, what we wanted to do was do something every Earth Day to raise money for our group and to raise money for things that we're doing um, in, within the school. And so what we just said, we coordinated with TEAM, which is a community organization, it's an environmental organization, um, Taunton Ecology Awareness Movement. And so we coordinated with them because they had wanted to do a concert and they do Earth Day activities every year. So I, th this isn't really close to Earth Day, which is April 22nd, but it's still, you know, the Earth Day theme carries through the whole year. So. Although the festival was moved indoors because of inclement weather, exhibitors were still on hand to demonstrate their goods and tell you about their organization. One of the exhibitors we got to speak with was Bob Burton of Always Natural Health Foods. Well, we're representing the store and in connection with uh, the environment and ecology, we carry a lot of products that are organically grown uh, and environmentally sound, such as even tea bags, uh, even the cloth and the paper on the tea bag is biodegradable, won't ruin the environment. Also, I think that when people uh, start thinking about the ecology and the earth, they ought to start thinking about not polluting their own body first. Uh, a lot of people go to the grocery store and they're buying just regular fruits and vegetables, whereas we sell the organically raised and we support the small farmers rather than the large uh, polluting farmers that use all the pesticides and herbicides. So there's a big difference. Yeah. Something that I feel is real important most people go to either an MD or go to a drugstore looking for some type of a uh, drug that will help them get over their illnesses. And what they're doing is putting chemicals that don't belong in their body, into their body. And every single drug on the market from aspirin up to anything that you can think of has a side effect to it. We sell natural uh, a, a, products that help to heal the human body. And they're all made from uh, organically grown herbs, uh, vegetables, fruits, and anything from the earth that is very simple and helps the body to heal itself without side effects to it. We also spoke with Cal Travers, who told us about the Friends of Boyden Refuge. We're an organization formed solely to support the Gertrude Boyden Nature and Wildlife Refuge. Okay, and um, we, uh, our first project was we built an osprey nest um, out on the trails. And right now we have about 50 acres and there's about two miles of trails. And we have volunteers that maintain, you know, help with the trails. And there's a full-time caretaker, well, not a full-time, but he's a living caretaker that um, helps with the um, maintenance of the park. And, um, you know, we're just trying to get an educational organizations involved and trying to, you know, uh, let the public know about the park, that it's there, and it's really a nice spot to go and have a picnic or just take a leisurely walk. Uh, we're having, um, the president is currently organizing um, some like concerts, uh, classical music on CDs. Um, we're trying to have them in different areas of the park so that people, as they walk the trails, they can hear classical music. And we also have a day of adventure coming up. With a, it's a canoe ride and a chicken barbecue. So we have, you know, things planned. And it's all just to save this, this park or this refuge? It, it's all to support it. Uh, it's where the Taunton Conservation Commission has their office there. And um, 
we just supporting the park to keep it, you know, it, it has, um, we don't have a, a, vandal, a real vandalism problem because of the live-in caretaker, but, you know, it's just something to help support the park and, you know, make it more interesting, make it a place where people want to bring their families, and we have a lot of, we have bluebirds, and we have, you know, quite a few unusual birds, um, and we have, also have, you know, the usual mammals, and there's wildlife, and people came into the office the other day and asked me about a, a snake, what kind of snake it was that was sunning itself on this tree, it was this big. So, um, but it was really, you know, it's a nice place to, you know, if you like being near nature, you know. What do you hope to achieve uh, by having a booth here today at the Festival? Well, we just, for informational, I, I came because the group uh, asked us to participate in this and we just, um, you know, just to let people know that we are there. A lot of people do not know that we are located there and I have people come into the office and say, gee, I just drove from the city and I, you would never know this place was here, you know, because it's almost like it's right near Caldors, yeah. so you wouldn't expect a wildlife refuge to be there, and they're really pleasantly surprised. I mean, you know, because it is quite pretty. With many environmental groups in attendance, we wondered how people become involved with these organizations. Sandra Kudo explained how she became involved with Terra of Taunton High School. Well, basically, in seventh grade, I had done a report on the Rainforest for the Science Fair, and I came in contact with um, RAN, Rainforest Action Network, and they have different um, grassroots grassroots organizations called RAGS. So um, I, I, wanted, I got the idea of starting that. So then when I came to high school, I found Laura, and she helped me along, and I helped her, and we got it organized. With teenagers and community members working together, events like the Earth Festival in Taunton should help to educate everyone about the environment. For creating a healthy environment, this is Steve Janzura.